Hey, Mark. Hey, Norm. Now, I know you're putting down ceramic tile here in the mudroom, but I've never seen ceramic tile that has the look of wood. Look at that. What is of, this? A piece of porcelain. Really? Five by 32. So how do they get the wood grain look? They, it's just like an inkjet printer. They spray the glaze on, put it in the kiln, fire it up. There you go. Wow, that's amazing. It does look like wood. Yeah. Now, I know you've done the typical prep on the floor. There's cement board below a, a layer of thin set. Yeah. And now you're ready to install the pieces. Anything special on the installation? Well, we're going to keep it, instead of a running bond pattern, we're going to lay it just like flooring. Keep it a third so there's no joint the same. Right, so it looks more random and not exactly. uh, all symmetrical. So you apply thin set not only to the floor, but you back butter every tile to get a nice bond to the floor. Exactly. Well, now I'm starting to see what you mean. If you were using a standard, say, brick style floor, ceramic tile, you would break the joints at the halfway point of each piece. But here you're staggering them in thirds, and that gives it more the look of a hardwood floor. Right, we want it to look like real wood. Right, and the joints are nice and tight. So once you get the first row established, you could probably run a couple rows at a time, and with the size of these tiles, it must go pretty fast. Oh yeah, we can get a couple of rows in at a time and just move right along. All right. So what are you using for grout? We're going to use a smoke gray, this like darker color in the wood grain here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an unsanded grout, and we're also going to use it in the laundry room upstairs. So Mark, I also noticed that you're using the tile to do the treads and the rises for the stair, and that this top one, you've rounded over the front edge. Yeah, well they don't make a bull nose for this material, so I made it myself. Mm -hmm. I put it in a wet machine, 45 the edge, and I took my grinder with polishing pads, and I polished it down and made it nice and round. All right, nice. So these sit two pieces to make the step, and I noticed that the overhang is just right so that when you put the risers on, it's going to be flush out here on this outside edge. Exactly. Nice details. So, you know, it looks great, it fools the eye, and it should last forever, right? Yes, it will. All right, Mark, thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.